2020 is the next step in the 25 year stepping process behind the information age. Just as with the personal computer in 1970 and the age of the internet in 1995, there were many clues in the years before prior to the actual unveiling or full embodiment of these occurrences. And so it being 2018, whatever this 2020 next jump will be, there are probably clues all around us already. And so I'm going to suggest that this next big step is the welcome to the machine, the convergence of the Internet of Things, quantum computing, and AI. The Internet of Things is the network of physical objects that enables these objects to collect and exchange data. So anything which is a smart device, whether it's a refrigerator, a toaster, or your phone, at some point, all of these devices are going to be able to communicate, and this is known as the Internet of Things. And the glue which will connect them is known as 5G, and it's the next generation of wireless communications, and it's going to become the backbone of the Internet of Things. The next level is artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence is is machine learning and right about now we're just seeing the increase of artificial intelligence grow at an exponential level and right now there is talks of of a concept it's called AI children and this is AI created by AI and this is what we're moving to where the AI will become so advanced it will be constantly creating new and new patches or 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 applications to fix what it's monitoring and what it's going to be monitoring is the internet of things and it's becoming more sociable to interact more and more with human beings and at the same time we're getting all of these warnings from leaders in the technology field that with artificial intelligence we are summoning the demon. Here's a quote from Elon Musk. And again, this should bring up thoughts of Enochian magic because according to the entities behind it, what is kept out behind the watchtowers are demons. Now the third part is a quantum computer and this coming machine, whatever it will be called, will be the blending of, of the Internet of Things, uh, which would be run by different AI or machine learning applications processed by quantum computers. And a quantum computer that is what makes the use of of quantum states of subatomic particles to store information and to access information too. We could see here this article from Time Magazine, this is probably like five years ago, but they're saying this, it's talking about quantum com computers, how they're costing ten millions of dollars and nobody knows exactly how it works, kind of like Enochian magic. Here's a quote from one of the founders of the quantum computer field, and he says, quantum computation will be the first technology that allows useful tasks to be performed in collaboration between parallel universes. Parallel universes are separated by something. We may call them dimensions. They could be called watchtowers. Again, we're seeing the same concept being expressed in different language. Here is a picture of a quantum computer by the premier manufacturer of the quantum of quantum computers. The D-Wave system. And D-Wave is founded by Gordy Rosicrucian. And D-Wave 
talks about quantum computers and it promises a revolution on the order of the invention of the microprocessor or splitting of the atom. Again, connecting computer technology and nuclear power. And also indicating the indication of how significant of a, of a um, technology this is. And we can see here that the first D wave was demonstrated to the public on February 13th, 2007. And remember, ENIAC was dedicated February 15th, 1946. And why is that? Whether purposefully or not, because it falls upon the holiday of Lupercalia the fertility ritual. Here's a quote from Gordy Rose, and he's linking quantum computers to being at the altar of an alien god. So now let's look at this. We have our Enochian magic, and we have Enoch, and was dedicated on February 15th. And Enochian magic created, I don't know if that's the right word, but connected to John D. Oh, and what's the first quantum computer? But D wave, as in Dr. D saying hello, also demonstrated on or about Bercalia. 